Greetings guys, gals, non-binary pals, and welcome to, or welcome back to the channel, another video. My name is Rin, and today, you might notice behind me here, and in the title, we're comparing a few block building sets. Yeah? So, we've got a an official Lego set, and then right here we've got some block tech sets from Five Below. For anyone new here, I have a background in ethnobotany, so plants are the theme of the day. So we're going to be looking at what the different sets offer, what the outcome is, how well the, the set was put together, um, how user-friendly it is, that sort of thing, and, and evaluating at the end of it which one is the better value for the money, etc. The majority of this is going to be commentary with partial builds, like, spliced in. Yeah, so, let's get started. I'm going to start with the block tech ones, and then we'll go to the Lego, and then do some comparisons. So, there are eight that I have, and they seem to be doing seasonal ones. Not like seasonal, seasonal, but two of the eight I picked up in around about June and just didn't put them together because I was going to make a video and didn't have time <laughs> at that at that time and then another six were released in the, the fall so I just happened to have eight they are 325 each so all eight together came out to $26 plus tax. And got the vase of all of them put together. So the camellia. So I'm gonna open the box. This is my trusty little circle cutter guy that sort of kind of works sometimes. But it's got a blade in there. And all of these, at least for the Block Tech company, come in a bag like so and have a printed in color instruction set, which you know I appreciate.
the marigold. The cornflower. Okay, so according to this, you're just popping each of the leaves onto one of the nodules right here, and then the flower up top. There we go. Fabulous. There's some extra stem pieces in case, like, if you want to switch out this piece and make it longer or shorter or what have you. But yeah, there we go. The chrysanthemum. And th this is the first one that had some issues. So, the pansy on the box looks relatively put together. Uh, this, this is, this is the best that I could do. I redid this thing like four times and I can't quite tell if it's a user error or if it's the product itself. I might end up going in with some like super glue or something because part of the issue is that the connectors for the blue petals are just kind of like in there and seem to be meant to be able to move around. It's, it's that kind of a connector. You can kind of see it like right back here a little bit but this thing has been a pain and the rest of the stem is just stuck in the bottom of the vase so I'll get that in a second moving on we've got the white lily right here and this is another kind of problem one like it it went together okay and after some finagling I got the the petals to work but the flower head is just kind of set in there, in, in this component. So that's another one that I might end up just gluing because I'm lifting it up right here because there's nothing securing it.
And then we've got the Dahlia that this one actually went together pretty good. And it has the little bonus thing of the leaf is a green batwing. <laughs> Which I just, I find kind of hilarious and generally awesome. So points for that. Just like as, as a character design, that's kind of cool. Just like flowers with, with little bat wings. Anyway, moving on. And then the eighth and final one is the sunflower, which admittedly is one of my favorites. It's just kind of a nice, simple, pretty secure version. Okay. And for most of these, right, for most of these, there's extra stem pieces so you could like make it as taller as short as you wanted it for the particular project that you're doing. Yeah. So that's that's in its most put together state at the moment. Honestly the camellia is another one that was giving me problems. So if you look at it, the central petals are supposed to just kind of nest and that's that's as much as I could get it to do. Kind of the, the same principle as those puzzle balls that used to be in gumball machines in like the 90s that half the time I could, couldn't like get them back together. It, it's, it's the same sort of fiddliness. All of those together would be about $26. The... Let's go with this one. <clears throat> There's... Each of them came in like a couple of packets and has a little like instruction sheet front and back. Some of the instructions are kind of harder to deduce to a degree, but it's mostly just because of the size or the angle that the particular part was shown in. I do like, though, that whichever piece was going down is, like, full color. So, positives. And it, it lists out all the pieces that you have at the start of it. Now, we've got the Lego one. Now for that, we've got these guys. The, the first major difference is that aside from a few of them, like the, the the lily is fairly accurate, but for a lot of the block tech flowers, it's not easily botanically recognizable. We'll say that. Um, the lily and the sunflower are, it, it's pretty like well-known shapes. The camellia is, is kind of in there too. For these ones though, this is pretty close to what the actual flowers look like. So we've got, and on top of that, there's only a few of the examples that only had one. For a lot of them, you could build two or three. So that's an additional point in, in this one's favor. So. It comes to 17 stems versus 8. The Lego box is listed at 60 at Best Buy and at the, the Lego website. At Target you can get it for 53 or it was on sale for 47 when I saw it. They also had an online like pre-Christmas type sale for 40 so make of that what you will. Yeah, 
So let's go through these. We've got, and of course there's like, there's cat hair all over it. Come on. So we have the leather leaf fern, Remora edeniformis, and that, that's also part of it. They included the botanical name, like the scientific botanical name, and information about the plant and what it's used and the natural range that it's in, which, very cool. There was three of the ferns. Got this guy. That is cow parsley or Queen Anne's lace. Athricus sylvestris. And there were two of those. This one, that's the Welsh poppy, and there's there's two names listed, either Echinopsis cambrica or Papavera cambricum, and there's two of those. flower, which it gave both blue and white variants. There's two blue and one white. So there we go. Centuria cyana. And there's lavender, uh, lavangela, and there's two of these. There we go. Lavender and cornflower.
lupin lupinus and there's there's two of these say is the stem pieces for all of these block tag or lego are all pretty much the same thickness and durability i put these together on i think tuesday and it's sometime early morning saturday so I, I started putting these together the day after Christmas and it's New Year's Eve right now. Early morning New Year's Eve, like like probably one o'clock in the morning <laughs> right now. But just that small amount of time, the stem is already starting to curve. So maybe having it in like a smaller or more tight packed container to like keep it more static would work but that's just something to be aware of because especially for this one the the flower head itself is pretty weighty because there's a lot of pieces and they're all like right up top for the Queen Anne's Lace, the whole stem is a series of pretty chunky pieces and it's like, it, it still has some flexibility, but it's about the thickness of a pencil versus this that is kind of a coffee stirrer type situation. Also, the flower head is 
a lot thinner. But I had the poppy sitting up by the camera. I was trying to make a break for it. But that's that's the thickness variability I'm talking about. Moving on. And we've got two of the the lupins. There's one Larkspur right here. Consolida Agicus. Alrighty. So the, the last two it looks like are the Larkspur up there and the Gabora Daisy. Gabura daisies in both the pink and the orangey yellow. Gabura Jimsoni. Both of these are, are pretty stable too. So for right now I'm just gonna pop everybody back in the cup to secure them. But yeah, after this I'm just gonna have everything in the vase so they can coexist together. And then hopefully that'll keep the lupins from like falling over too. Yeah. Even with how light the the cornflower ones are, it's already starting to curve a little bit there too. So things to be aware of. Actually, feel it on. The Lego stems are smoother. The the block tech stems are kind of rougher. But there's more give to the Lego one than there is in the block tag, which it looks like it's the same kind of molding and it's at least similar attachment pieces. So intriguing. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Okay. So, oh, yeah. And I didn't show you this thing. 
So this is the booklet that came with the Lego flowers. And it has like big full color drawings. I will say there are a few spots that I had to redo. <laughs> I know there were a few, but the main one was on the lupins because there was a, a flat topped piece that was supposed to go in between a few of them and it apparently didn't register that that was a thing that needed to happen. Yeah, like right, right in here. So just pay attention to the instructions, which, you know, easier said than done sometimes, I realize. But like there's, there's little fun facts about each of the, the pieces and stuff, or at least some of the pieces, and the history of certain pieces, and then each flower has its like introduction page. So you've got the, yeah, let's go in with the, the Queen Anne's Lace again. So we've got the English, French, and Spanish names, the uh, scientific name under it, and then in English, French, and Spanish, a blurb about the plant, which as an ethnobotanist is very much a positive. Now, the only flower that is common to both sets, like I'm, I'm counting all of the eight I picked up at Five Below as a set, because for the purposes of this exercise, all of these would be considered in one series, and then we have the whole Lego set over here. And the only one common to both is the cornflower. Now, if I remember, I should have been popping up an image of the actual plant as we've been going. So this right here is the cornflower. This is the example for the block tech set and these are the examples for the Lego set. Now, this one is a lot more chonky. It's, it's pretty easy to build. This one and, like, admittedly, the cornflower, sunflower, and marigold were the three that went together the easiest. So, if one of these is what you want to do, because you want to, you only want to spend like under four dollars on a flower, I would suggest one of those three. So it's not a bad build in and of itself. It's it's fun to put together. I will say you're meant to get twelve of the little flat tile pieces to go on the underside of the flowers. I only had 10 and then there were, th no, nine. Yeah, I had nine. And then there were three just regular pieces so it's not as flat there. It's the underside of the flower so it doesn't bug me, but something to be aware of. This is also the first time that I'm filming with a camera that has a screen that I can actually look at, so if I'm looking off to the side for whatever reason, that's why <laughs> I keep getting sidetracked. Anyway, so we have this guy, and then we've got these two. Cornflowers come in multiple colors. They happen to include blue and white, and this is pretty close to what they look like IRL. Again, not a bad build. It's it's a good flower setup. 
and there are components that are similar, just this is the more accurate one. But if you don't want the Lego bits and you just want like one decent sized one, this works. Overall, because everything went together as it should, and the, the pieces... Yeah, I'm just going to hold it like this because the sound was bugging me. The pieces fit properly. The Lego branded one it was a more enjoyable project. And that goes for a lot. <laughs> Trying to put together some of the block tag flowers, like this guy was fine, but the lily and the pansy especially. I was about this close to just giving up because it was such a pain. And that does not make for a high rating in recommendation <laughs> for me. That said, it's one of those things that if you glued the pieces in place, it would probably be fine. Yeah, so with with the hot mess that the pansy ended up looking like, that's probably how they managed to get the, the marketing photo <laughs> there. Just, just securing everything and like taping it or gluing it in place. Also, after having put them together, Photoshop is the only way I can see having the... Yeah. Especially with this guy. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. Before the battery runs out. You can kind of see... Let me see if I can... Just realizing that it was on manual focus this whole time. Okay. See if I can get it to focus on this thing. So you can see right in here, right? It's got all the the flowers shown and each of these is like whatever picture they used for the main image, but just the flower head, right? And you come down here and it's all the same image, but just arranged in what looks like generated vase. It's like, they're all in the same orientation except they switch the sunflower. <laughs> Alright. There we go. Well, yeah. So there's that. Oh, yeah. Also. So we've got the, the Block Bouquet series, and then we've got the Botanical Collections Wildflower Bouquet, which I have a, uh, a, another couple of Botanical Collections things that need to get made up, and, and you'll be seeing around these parts in the not-too-distant future, hopefully. So, yeah in addition to other videos that I'm working on. Overall, as I said, the Lego set was a more enjoyable project, however it is pricey, and the block tech is more affordable, but is kind of more frustrating at times. So, if you're thinking about getting either, 
just keep that in mind if you just want a flower project to have in a little bit bud face or something one of the the block deck ones it's perfectly fine just pick one that isn't gonna be really frustrating for you ideally and then it's it is fun though to see what the different pieces end up looking like cuz like for the chrysanthemum right i if I remember, I'm gonna insert a clip of working with it. But, it just, it, it looks like a happy little octopus. <laughs> if you, if you fold down some of the petals. <laughs> Which I found Adorable because octopi, octopuses, octopuses are fabulous. So there's that. Um, anyway, that's all for for now. Stay. Anyway. Oh yeah. Well, I've still got you here. The other specs that I wrote down and forgot to mention. <laughs> The Lego set says that it's 18 plus, which makes sense. There, there's a whole lot of tiny bits and stuff. The Lego one says 18 plus. The Block Tech one says 6 plus. The Lego ones say that they're 17 inches. Block Tech doesn't have a, a noted height for any of them. And there's. 939 pieces in the Lego set. Block tech. It's all together. I wrote down 517. But that's also when I had it as six boxes. So that's probably not accurate. But, you know. There we go. Also, for the Lego one, you get one of these nifty little block separator guys in there. So... That's cool. And there's just a few leftover pieces. And the same with the block tag. There's just a few leftover pieces from the stems. So make a educated decision as you will and go from there. There you go. But yeah, I would definitely try and wait for a sale or see if you can find a coupon or something if that's a thing that Lego even does. So that's all for now. Have a fabulous rest of your day, night, weekend, whatever time and or day it is for you that you're seeing this. I should be uploading back issues of the Botany Book Club streams from over on Twitch, uh, twitch.tv forward slash adventuring. If you're interested, there's going to be a link in the description. And yeah, have a good one. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye, everybody. As I'm like flapping the notes in the wind. Bye, everybody. This thing is just falling apart. Pansy, do not test me right now. Marigold, cornflower, chrysanthemum. Actually, they're sitting right over here.